Hi, for the next part of this assignment, we're going to take uh, this truth table that we just made and we're going to put it on multi-sim. We're going to do it a little bit different than we've done in the past. So, please follow the video. I don't think you've ever seen this before and you're really going to like it. So. Hang on with me for one sec. I had to redo the frame here. So here we go. Um, we're going to need some space. So I right clicked on the sheet and I'm going to go to my workspace. I'm going to change this to a C and hit apply and OK. All right. So we're going to bring in a uh, seven segment display with an R pack. And then we're going to have three switches, just like we've done in the past with power and ground. And we're going to need what kind of um, seven segment display? A common cathode or a common anode? If you answered common anode, you are correct. So we're going to place the indicator and make sure you're, you know, you're in indicators, X, and we are looking for a common A, and you can pick your favorite color. We're going to need some power. So go to power sources, VCC. You're going to need two of those. And what type of ground are we going to need for this? That's right, we're going to need a digital ground, DGND. Alright, we're going to bring in some uh, switches and uh, the R pack, just like we've done in the past. Some of you might have just caught on and just copied and pasted what you did with your birthday circuit, and that's really the smart thing to do. Single pull, double throw. I'm going to rotate that around. And we're going to have three of them. One. Actually, it's easier. If once you place in the first one, you copy and paste it. All right. Before I forget, I'm going to double click on this and change our resistance to either 220 or 330 will work. Change the color to black. And now I'm going to power. I'm going to power connect all of these. All right, so instead of running two lines down, I'm just going to run one line down straight from X, Y, Z. So I'm going to run this down, double click, I'm going to grab my Y, double click, and my Z, and double click. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to double click on this and kind of give it quick value, so this will be my 1, switch 2 is going to be my 2 value, and my shortcut will be 2, and then switch 3, so I'm doing that by double clicking, going to value, changing this key toggle, and then that will be 4, just like we've done fast, past, 1, 2, 4. Okay, so here's where you're either going to love me or you're going to hate me. Over on this right side here, there's something called a logic converter. And um, 
It's right here. Okay, looks like this right here. So you're gonna click on it. And you're gonna put it like in the center of your um, paper. Um, before we do anything else, I want to make sure you put your name on your paper. So let's go to place and text and make sure that you put you know your name on your paper and then the class period and make it nice and big so we can see it but not too big Dylan all right so here's what we're going to do you're going to double click on your logic converter and we're going to use buttons one a b and c all right so we're going to look at our uh, k map I mean, yeah no, no no not our k map we're not doing k matic we're going to look at our truth table so i've got mine written down um, you can check your spreadsheet and we're going to go as you can see we've got a b c so now if we click on the question marks we are solving for segment A. So segment A goes 0, 1. So you just click on the question mark. Um, once to get a 0 and twice to get a 1. So we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now we want to change this from a truth table to an AOI. So if I click on that, it gives us the formula. If I click on uh, the truth table to simple AOI, it gives us this. And if we want it to just draw it for us, we hit this to the gate, AB to gates. And then we connect it here. All right. So now we have X, Y, Z, and X is A, B is Y, and C is Z. So I'm going to hit Control J to get a jumper. And I'm going to connect this to the C. Oops, that disconnected. I'm going to connect. This to B, and I'm going to connect Control J to A. All right, and as we did over here, we're going to connect that. And if we press play, you can see it works, and so now we have A plugged in. And it is going to be um, the top of engineer, segment A for engineer. So I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to double click on the logic converter. And then we're going to do um, B. And for B, it is 1, 1, 0. And then all ones going down. And we're going to go, we're going to click this. And wow, that's a big long formula. Let's see if it simplifies. Well, that's nice. And let's click on to draw it. And for me, I can fit right there. All right. And we're going to connect this. So connect this to C. doesn't want to connect. There we go. All right. 
So we're going to connect that one. And uh, let's see, A and D are the same. So we can connect it there. And when we play it, we've got quite a few things done. All right. I also want to point out um, that when you double click, um, you can also change it to NAND right there. So you can have some NANDs. Um, oops, sorry. You can have some NANDs created too. So please use the logic converter to um, finish this engineering um, drawing on multi-sim and uh, be ready to show me at the uh, towards the end of the class. All right, thank you. Aren't logic converters the best?